Hello everyone! Gusto niyo bang malaman ang inyong sahod na hindi pumipila sa ATM machine? Kung ganoon, panoorin ang video hanggang sa dulo dahil tuturuan ko kayong i-register ang inyong DBP account or any Banknet account sa mobile banking ng Banknet. So, stay with me and let's learn! Bago po ang lahat, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell para kayo ay ma-notify sa mga bagong videos or tutorial na aking gagawin sa channel na to. And take note, this is only applicable sa mga sumusunod na bangko. These are the links of banks participating in BankNet Online and IPG. Asia United Bank, BPI Direct Banko, CTC, CTBC Bank, City State Savings Bank, DBP, Enterprise Bank, Entrepreneur Bank, Equipcom Savings Bank, Luzon Development Bank, Mass Spec. Started! Open your browser and search banknet online the very first to appear banknet click that one and you will be routed to the banknet home page from here click register now and you will be directed to the user registration where you can see the list of participating banks on and online IPG and just scroll down click next and you will be directed to the user registration where in the step one you have to agree the terms and conditions all you have to do is just to read 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 everything here and click I agree Then, next. Next step will be your account information. You have to input your user ID, where the user ID must not contain special characters except underscore. And take note, it must be at least six letters. And when you choose your password, you have it must be eight characters, at least eight characters, and must be a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters. Then you need to confirm your password. Then click next. And for the next step, you need to give your personal information. Take note, fields with mark asterisk are required. So you need to Give your first name and then last name. And then after that, click next. In this part, you need to give your contact information. Remember the one that you used when you fill out the form when you open an account. That contact information there is the one na inyong ilalagay dito. Like the phone number, your email address, it must be active. And because you will be receiving a registration code in your email which is required to complete your registration or we have a default one-time pin channel so it will be sent through SMS through text via mobile app if you use banknet mobile app and then the last one is via email so you need just to choose this is how you will receive your one-time pin among the three options, email is the least secured channel to send the one-time PIN. Please use email only if you do not have a mobile phone. So that is so clear, mga kaguro. After you fill in that, just click next for the last step.
once successfully registered, just key in your user ID and then the password and then click login. Then you will be routed to this page. Click profile management. Okay, can you see that? And then add ATM card. And then in this part, the same process, you have to in step one, terms and condition, in step two, enter bank info step three enter atm info and step four is the confirmation so in step one here just read this one read the terms and conditions and click agree and click next in this part in step two you can see here the bank name Remember, there are a lot of banks, participating banks, other bank nets, so you have to choose. Okay, so it's up to you. For example, maybe you can choose DBP. Okay, because most of the teachers have DBP or land bank account, so just choose the branch. Like for example, let me say this one. This is just an example and then your mobile number okay the number that you entered and then just click that one and then next 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 and then click next and then in step three here you need to input your atm card your member number okay so where is the member number just click this one so that the information will be given here and also the account type is it a savings or current or it could be checking account and then your ATM card name or the description like for example family joint account in this part and then the pin okay remember your ATM pin will be used to check your ATM card number in the selected bank this pin will not be stored in the banknet online database you still have to enter your ATM PIN for every transaction once your registration has been approved. So this one, and after you enter your PIN, just click next. And in the, and since we cannot confirm because you know we're not inputting any details here, that but in the step four, it's the confirmation. After inputting your details or your ATM information in this part, just click next, okay? And then in the confirmation part, it is the summary of or the, the details. In uh, I mean, in step four, it's the confirmation. Confirming your um, like bank info and ATM info. And then after that, just click submit, okay? And then you will be logged out. And enter again your user ID and password once you uh, the ATM that you enrolled is successful then you can show it here okay for example in my case I enrolled DBP and I can see here my bank logo where it's the DBP and of course you can add ATM card as many as you like but like for example your like sun savings bank you can add here and it will show also here the same process that you want i mean the same process that you did earlier so that's it and that's it for this video thank you for watching if this video helped you mga kagoro please don't forget to subscribe comment down if you have any questions and i will gladly reply them all so that's it thank you for watching everyone and have a great day keep safe